If you wanna learn how to start an LLC in Michigan, you're in the right place. Now, every state has slightly different rules when it comes to forming an LLC. Michigan has some of the lowest fees of forming an LLC or limited liability in the country. So stick around to learn what the steps are to form your own limited liability company in Michigan. To get an LLC, you can either do it yourself or hire someone to do it for you. If you're going the DIY route, there are five steps total to forming your LLC in Michigan. Step number one, name your LLC. Do you already have a name for your business? You'll need to search through the business name database that's kept on file with the Michigan Secretary of State to make sure it isn't taken. Every state has its own rules about what kinds of names you're allowed to use in order to form your LLC. In general, you'll want to check that it's not easily confused with another business name on file. For example, Bear Claw LLC and Bear Claw LLC are not easily distinguishable. And you'll need to add either Limited Liability Company, LLC, or LLC with periods in between each letter to your business's name. There are also certain words that may require additional paperwork, such as insurance, trust, bank, and ink. Lastly, though this isn't a requirement of getting an LLC, you'll probably want to grab the domain name of your business name so that no one else gets it first. Step number two, file articles of organization. Michigan requires you to file articles of organization with the Secretary of State, either in person, online, or by mail. It will cost you $50 to file the basic form. Make sure to include the name of your proposed LLC, the physical address of your Michigan office, the designated registered agent, which we'll talk about in a moment, and how your LLC will be managed. Your LLC will automatically be member managed unless you write that it will be manager managed in Article 5 of the Articles. A member managed LLC usually has a small number of members, and those members are all managers. They're able to be involved in the day-to-day -day business operations. On the other hand, a manager managed LLC typically has a large number of members who don't want to be involved in the day-to-day -day decisions. Step number three, choose a registered agent. Having a registered agent is a requirement for forming an LLC in Michigan. A registered agent refers to a person or business who sends and accepts all legal papers, acting as the point of contact for your LLC. These documents can include regulatory and tax notices, subpoenas, correspondence, and legal filings. Your registered agent can be someone in your company, like you, or you can hire a professional service to be a registered agent for you, as long as your registered agent has a physical street address in Michigan and is available during business hours. Step number four, create an operating agreement. Though Michigan doesn't legally require you to maintain an operating agreement and file it with the Secretary of State, it is still an important step to forming your LLC. An operating agreement records your LLC setup, organizational structures, daily duties, and general rules. It defines the roles and responsibilities of all LLC members, including the percentage of ownership allocated to each member, how profits will be distributed, and how decisions will be made. It's the core document of your business and it can help you prevent future misunderstandings. There are usually six main sections to an operating agreement. Section one, organization, describes when and where a company is created, who its members are, and how ownership is structured. Section two, management and voting. Just like it sounds, it outlines how the company is managed and how members vote. Section three, capital contributions, which members are financially supporting the LLC and how more funds plan to be raised in the future. Section four, distributions, how the company's profits and losses are distributed among the members. Section five, membership changes, the process for adding or removing members of the LLC or if and when members can transfer ownership shares. And section six, dissolution, the circumstance in which the LLC may be dissolved. Your operating agreement is a living document that should be updated each time there's a change in membership or management of your company. Step number five, apply for an EIN. Your employer identification number is like a social security number specifically for your business. It's a nine digit number assigned by the IRS to identify taxpayers who are required to file business tax returns. An EIN from the IRS is a requirement for any business that operates as an LLC and has employees or files tax returns. It's also necessary if you want to open a business bank account, apply for a business loan and pay your business income taxes. EINs are free and you can get one from the IRS either online or by mail. And that's how to form an LLC in Michigan. Note that your tax requirements will vary depending on how your LLC is set up. After you get your EIN, you will need to register with the Michigan Treasury online for business taxes. In addition to potential corporate tax filings, you may be required to file your personal taxes. It's important to make sure to remain up to date with all Michigan tax guidelines and understand which deductions you may be entitled to take as a member of an LLC. If forming an LLC on your own sounds like too much of a headache, you can always go with option number two, hiring a service to take care of your Michigan LLC for you. Though it may cost more money than doing it yourself, there are a lot of benefits to hiring a pro like Taylor Brands. 
Our LLC service will take care of your formal application, get your EIN for you, create your operating agreement in your terms, and act as your registered agent. So you can rest easy knowing that your paperwork is taken care of, deadlines are met, and your privacy is protected. If you have any more questions about forming an LLC in Michigan, you can check out the link to our blog post in the video description below. Don't forget to visit the Taylor Brown's website and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more information on how to successfully build your business from scratch. We can't wait to see what you create.